Everything look peachy keen, bitch I'm chose like Mighty Mo Hit him with that special B, put green on him like Piccolo Holy fuck he's rolling with a Drake, he in sicko mode Hitting bitches from the back, he got a walking pigeon toad Yeah, man. Yo, welcome to episode 67, Speaking of Which Podcast. My man John over there. We got a special guest in the building, man. Say your name. Hey. Fucking no, Jay Easy. Jay yes, Easy. Jay Easy, all the way from Middletown, New York, man. Middletown, New York, you. man. We in a spot. Yo, bro, <laughs> thank you for coming all the way down to LA, man. I know it's a long ride, bro. That, that How was, long was that ride? That was two bridges, <laughs> two fucking states. Nah, we in the same state. Couple but. highways. <laughs> yeah, a couple highways. A couple oh, exits. Couple oh, park. Here. Couple parkways. Oh, we we outside, here, man. man. We appreciate you, bro. Yo. Yeah. Episode sixty-seven, y'all. Speaking of which, podcast you can catch us on YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Instagram, 7-11. Threads, your auntie's house, all that shit, I'm man. Saying, don't even. Uh, matter. We actually have a comment of the week from last week. Okay, what they so said? He said ten thousand dollars or a dinner with Aaron and John. That's the real. Would you rather? <laughs> <laughs> so we appreciate you. We appreciate you always watching. Word. If you want to pay us 10, 10 bands, or if you want to have dinners with us as opposed to the 10 bands, That's low. you bugging. You bugging. <laughs> you bugging. You bugging. You better take, take that 10K. Take, no take cut. the 10 bands and run off, man. Yeah. Plug twice. But yeah, <laughs> Jay Easy in the building, bro. I just want to say uh, your your song, Tomioka, definitely was a smash, bro. Viral hit. But the way I found out about you is through my boy, our boy, Jaleel. Oh, yeah. word? Jaleel. Shout out to Jaleel, yeah, man. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah, bro. Big so Copy. it was uh, Rolling Loud New York. And he was just like, yo, he, he saw like you were taking pictures of some shit. I, I think I Rolling Loud. Rolling Loud? Yeah. Okay. And um, he's like, yo, he's here. Ah, ah, ah. And he played me your song. And I was like, this shit slap. Okay, you got a little thing to <laughs> that's it. That's okay. lit. That's lit. And that <laughs> was Middletown, New York, dude. Yeah. That was Middletown, New York. And then uh, Tommy Yoka was the real song that, like, put me on, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to ask, like, do you know Jaleel? Have you spoke to him at all or anything? Like that? A little bit. Like, for me, a little bit in the messages, a little bit. For me, like, in the comments, like, he'll comment. Right. I'll comment. Just I'll showing shoot. love and shit. Yeah, just showing love, but. Anything further than that, not really. Yeah. Okay, that's shit. hard though. Yeah, that's you, hard. you gonna do? You should do a backflip at his next show. You should open up and do a <laughs> break backflip. my fucking neck. dead ass boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, just let let us know like your rolling loud experience. Were you just hanging out, just showing love? I mean, shit. My rolling loud experience was lit as fuck because uh, that was the first time I like hopped into the mosh pits and shit. Mm. I never really for me, just be crazy, right? went out to shit like that. But yeah, them shits do get crazy. And um, shit, that was one of the um, times too that like I realized like my face is getting more and more known because mm. when I pulled up, everybody's like, yo, Tomioka, <laughs> Jay Easy. <laughs> Can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? Yeah, yeah. So I'm um, just taking pictures with people. How did that feel, man? Like, does it, that it feels good. Like, yeah, yeah. I, like, it's crazy, right? Yeah, it's fucking imagine. nuts. I could imagine. It's bro. fucking nuts, and it's just, it's motivating for me. So, shit. I remember this one time, I think we were at the DJ Scheme side, and fucking, he threw on X, and my manager, he pushes me in the middle of the mosh pit, <laughs> and everybody's like, what the fuck? It's cheesy. And then fucking everybody collides. I caught a fucking, I got jawed. Ooh. Caught an elbow to the oh, back. Everybody shit. was just going crazy. I'm like, oh. <laughs> it ain't no mind fucking pain, ain't no injuries. Bro. Yeah. Fuck no, that's fire. That's fire. Um, did you like grow up on X or anything like that? Like, did, who were some of your them? inspirations like coming up? Or that's a good question. Who you was fucking Because you got, you what? have an interesting like flair to your music bro uh, cause you got bars you got the latin going crazy like nah I hear it fucking what what do you count as like grew up on though like what ages to what ages I feel okay. like what really got you into hip hop like what was your first couple artists like Word. your favorite like ours is oh. Wayne 50, like 50 I would M&M. yeah, I would say I'm like like that era like Wayne Wayne 50 Hove Eminem like that that okay. era pretty yeah, much yeah. Kanye fucking that's fire who else oh, oh Jada Kiss okay. Jada Kiss Fab 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. Shout out Fev. Yeah. Who's the better of those two though? The Jada Kiss or Fev? Okay. Jada. Okay. Mm, okay. That's quick. That's quick. Yeah, he definitely is a better rapper, but Fab I feel like a structural song better probably. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. Mm. I feel like or Fab got more like swag. More swag. Type shit. I don't know. Jada's the goat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Jada's to the goat, but I fuck with Fab heavy. Yeah. His oh uh, he dropped something my freshman year that fake had Probably me bumping that shit the whole time. Summertown shootout type shit. The shit soul with tapes? the shit with French Montana. Whoa. The song with French Montana? <laughs> it was oh, like, whoa, whoa, we whoa. We good. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh no, no, we good is with Rich Homie Kwan, sorry. Uh, whoa, but you talking whoa, about whoa, that whoa, album. Whoa, whoa. That's yeah, that album. Yeah, yeah, that's the young OG project. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Whoa, whoa, yeah, that, that drop. I just don't know why. Yep. <laughs> you know, yep. Fab actually knows this show. He uh, yeah. he got tired of us because we made fun of his fit one time. <laughs> what? He looked God. like a highlighter. Hey, he's fit God, but yeah, he was, yeah. he was, was rocking like he, some he looked like a highlighter. DC 700s that were like a highlight color. <laughs> then highlight color socks. It was highlight wild. color shorts. Highlight color, you know, yeah, it was yeah. shirt. Okay. It was uh, like yeah. a security guard type. Not every fit going to hit, you know. <laughs> But, but uh, yo, tell us about Middletown, though, man. Like, tell us the come up, man. Shit, Middletown. How's that shit? Out? How is it out there? I mean, I feel like it is what you make of it. I mean, there's people who make shit of it. Mm -hmm. For me, just on everyday regular shit, smoking, or just out and about, not doing nothing. Um, yeah, it's pretty much. Whatever you want to find, you gonna find there, bro. Like, mm -hmm. that's what I say. But for me, How's I, the music I found scene gold. Out there? Is it music scene? There's some talents and artists in, in Middletown. Word. I would say. That's fire. Yeah. And there's definitely some artists from Middletown that like maybe, you know, inspired you to rap to pick up the mic type shit. Is, uh huh. Is there anybody that's like, they may not have that love, that shine, but you was like, when you was coming up, you was like, you know what, I fuck with him. He's trying to make music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's mad people like. That were actually that, nice though. Yeah, that I could say like, but I wouldn't say inspired me to pick up the mic because mm -hmm. that, I feel like that comes from like other shit. Okay. Because like, that's I didn't fair. really, when I was inspired to pick up the mic, mm -hmm. Like, I was already listening to all the other shit. But yeah. then when I started getting into the studio, I started, um, like, the local studio. I started, like, seeing other artists and shit and being like, okay, he's, for me, he's nice, he's nice, he's nice. Mm. But um, even before I really started getting into the studio, because I used to post freestyles on IG, I know Hooks Arthur was nice. For Hooks me. Arthur? Is Kyle nice, Hooks. is nice, not was nice, is nice. Um, What's up? Fucking Pacino, he's he's one of the more uh, successful artists out there. That's, That's nice. Um, who else? Shout out Goon Gets Money, my my manager. He could rap. Okay. He could fucking rap. That's hard. Uh, That's what's shit. up. Would you say now that like you know respectfully like you are the one out of Middletown? Is that like the it? one? I mean. At least for I, now, you know. I think so. I think so, in my humble opinion. Talk yeah. your shit. Cause Talk I, cause shit. I, for me, I really put in the work every day. I'm. I think I'm the most consistent. I haven't really seen people drop as much as me. Mm -hmm. Uh, shit, and just I'm. I wind up in places or things that I do wind up in places. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, my fault. Gucci, Gucci. fucking <laughs> pause. <laughs> I'm Gooch. <laughs> nah, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but fuck it. You wind up in places. Yeah, so. like, like, like the run. You feel me? Like doing the run shit and winded up in places. Fucking, right. I made a video about it. Like, fucking, Ice Spice winded up talking about it in an interview. Fucking, some these these artists, uh, flying a boss, winded up blowing up and. Using the run, shout out to them. Mm -hmm. So me, they lit. That's what's um, up, man. And it just want, yeah, shit like that just winds up in different places. Fucking Tomioka. Yo, honestly, the Middletown New York song stamped it for you. Mm -hmm. You really put Middletown on your back because mm -hmm. people really was asking like, where was Middle, like, what is that? Mm -hmm. And 
you know the fact that your your hometown now has like a hometown like song you mm-hmm. should be proud of that bro Word. that's not yet it's fine nah it is it is the low end like i'm sure the high schools and shit like but when they're Tony playing Oka basketball came out first like they're playing it during the basketball games i'm sure like oh yeah 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 definitely you said okay. that came out uh, but yeah Tomioka Tomioka came out yeah first. tomioka came out first okay and that allowed for middletown to blow up i think because um tomioka was doing good numbers on the algorithm so then i threw them that with the format that i was using for tomioka of That's like fire. promotion and then that let everybody know where i'm at so then after that just everybody in the town like the kids and for me people who are whoever's on fucking okay tiktok or just online they so for me, tomioka they know who I came am. first yeah tomioka okay. came first tell me about how that came about because let's be honest that shit is like a perfect song for virality like a mm-hmm. good 15 20 seconds mm-hmm. and like you know it, it went mm-hmm. can you tell us how that, that came about and kind of like the formula behind marketing that okay so I went on YouTube, found the beat. <laughs> I, w- I mean, I heard, honestly, yeah. I Simple heard the sample. Bro. I heard the sample, the bounce shit. And I was like, oh, yeah. Like, in my head, I was like, yeah, this is going to go. And I fucking, for me, mm-hmm. threw the beat on. And I always come up with, like, a four-bar hook, pretty much. And just came up with that real quick. And that's just how it landed, really. Um, That's kind of how all my songs are, really. It's just, like, however it lands is, like... You do the chorus I just first? go with it, yeah. That's a blessing. Most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Do you write it down or you just hit a B and then you just try to like mumble it or, you know what I'm saying? I like was, in the studio and then I you would say, yeah. I would say, yeah, I just punch in pretty much. That's hard. Yeah. I was going to say, because you know how like me and John be mentioning how a lot of Long Island artists, they don't really, they have a lot of pride with Long Island, but there's a lot of, there's certain people that they might be a little f- in the outskirts of the five boroughs and they always be like yeah i'm from the city blah blah but they really not they don't really yeah, rep they don't yeah be, they be false like their neighborhood type shit so like what made you want to really rep middletown and not say oh i'm from the city okay you know what i'm saying because there's certain artists yeah. that be like yeah i'm and from the yeah. city but they really not they're from long island but like you know what i'm saying hear it. and technically i mean i lived in the the bronx for like the beginning of my life like till i was like eight and still went like back and forth and shit mm-hmm. but Shit, what made me choose Middletown? Cause I I do see people like, like not, not really saying rapping? Middletown. Like, why do you say, think that is though? Cause it's not. I don't know. Hard enough. It's not yeah. cool enough. Like, what the fuck? But, I never understood that shit. Nah, word. And fucking like they would say like eight four five, or they'll say the eight, or they'll say other shit. But it, but Middletown. Um, I guess it don't sound cool. I mm. guess. I feel you. But for me, with the middle town cool. song, that's yeah, it. exactly. Just, that that's cool. all it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think what it is, people try to attach themselves to something that's already established. Mm-hmm. Like, Long Island has some legends, you know, mm-hmm. like fucking Biz Marquee and, mm. you know, I think. I didn't I, know that. A yeah, few yeah. people, like uh, Eric Sermon. like Eric Sermon? Yeah, he lived up the block. Like. <laughs> Eric Sermon, Eric Sermon. <laughs> From EPMD. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a few like legends, but predominantly like the city, is, it, it got that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so people sure. try to like attach themselves to that, thinking that Long Island is like sweet or like, mm-hmm. or, or Middletown is sweet. Like they try to do that. They try to play it. That's why. why. That's why I really fuck with Griselda because they they, yeah, they put though. Buffalo on the fucking map. Bro. Mm-hmm. Nah, facts, like absolutely. Facts. They could have easily been shout like, out yeah. shout out Benny because he followed me. That's Shout fire. out Benny. Follow man. me on IG. That's fire. Nah, Benny. Nah, that's the coastline right yeah. there. <laughs> I went to his show in uh, in Long Island, Huntington. That shit was fire. It's just that he had like 20 openers and most of them sucked. Mad Tim's, mm-hmm. Mad Pele most of them Pele. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they was just ass. I'm like, yo. But nah, no, he killed fire. it, though. Yo, so how, how are you going about making a, a project now? Mm-hmm. Uh, are you still trying to do the singles? currently yeah type thing or like like when is the project gonna come around because you you do have strength in in dropping singles but Uh at the end of the day you're you're an artist people want to body your work they want to know you so i I break that down like what's your thoughts on pressure too right yeah um i mean really i'm just i'm just trying to stack up as much songs as i can Mm -hmm. so when 
have another moment like Tomioka, but with a different song, I can kind of um, mold all my songs that I've had recorded at the moment to that right. type shit. But um, yeah, I'm definitely always thinking like project I gotta get you know mm-hmm. I gotta get that going even like a little EP you know yeah. seven song nah definitely you don't ever and feel pressure I see that I coming feel. though I see that coming I was gonna say mm-hmm. you don't ever future. feel pressure like cause now like for the past few years it's very like microwave society you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying so it's very like what's next what's next mm-hmm. you don't ever feel pressure like oh I have to drop in a month or two or like the fear of like falling mm-hmm. off or whatever that shit don't ever I'm, enter your mind I'm not gonna lie it's just, pressure, just the world, man. yeah. Cause it's not even like pressure, I would say, but it's almost like a, like a like a withdrawal if I didn't drop. Like if I haven't dropped in a minute, I'll get like a withdrawal, like or like if I don't put out content, any type of content, like it's like a little withdrawal. But um, I mean, I would say I'm learning to just. It's hard to balance, I feel like. Keep on creating. Because that's why, that's like the main reason why I drop so much, I think, too. It's like, I kind of feel like I got to just give them something. Or I got to see something out there. Right, right. No, everybody relates to that, by the way. Like, we all feel that pressure to keep it going and to mm. keep feeding yep. the, 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 the supporters. Um, now, when it comes to the project, like... Do you have anybody that you you want to get in the booth with? Like, you have anybody you want to get a song in with that you feel like you guys could work well together and shit? Or hmm. is it just solo dolo for now? I would say, yeah, I would say solo. I mean, I have other artists in mind. I'm about to perform with uh, on September 4th. I don't know when y'all gonna drop this shit. September 4th is We're tomorrow, right? It. Tuesday. 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 Oh, that's the day of, yeah. We're driving it the day of. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm performing with your stepdad. You familiar with your stepdad? <laughs> He's nice. He's nice. He's that, nice. That, that threw me off. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I got a stepdad? <laughs> nah, yeah. I just peeped his, um, he made a post and was like, all right, stepkids or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he calls his family. Nah, that's yeah. Funny. That's lit though. But, um, Where's yeah, that he's nice. Uh, Where's that at? Where are you performing at? Oh, BK. Brooklyn, okay. That's Brooklyn. Do you know the venue <laughs> or no? Do you know the name of the spot? Nah, not off uh, top. <laughs> good promo, good promo right there. Yeah. <laughs> not off top, but for me, he's he's nice. That's somebody I want to work with. Um, uh, B Jax, he's from I know New B-Jax. Jersey. You know B Jax? Yes, Let's I go. Do. Nah, yes, he I be do. out and yeah. about. It looked like. Yeah. Um. Yeah, B Jax. You know Long Island nice. Zone, Chow Lee. Chow Lee? Yeah. yeah. He, he be running around with B. Jax and Cash Cobain and shit. Okay, okay. Um, maybe but, maybe by face. Yeah, I only mention Chow because he be with B. Jax all the time. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yo, I think we should get into Would You Rathers. Would you want to do that? Yeah, I mean, we could do that. Shit, I mean, if you want. Let's do it, man. Shit. Oh, I was going to ask, too. Who's your favorite artist right now besides yourself? Favorite artist? Yes, sir. Yeah, who you bumping? Favorite who you bumping like artist. that, bro? I mean, bumping like that. On, like outside. this generation, or just right now? I guess this generation and right now. Because <laughs> like I've shit. been like the past couple of days, I've been hooked on this one song. But right now, right now, right fucking now. What song are you talking about? Um, it's it's called "Shot in the Dark." By who? Ozzy Osbourne. Okay. okay. Yeah, that shit just okay. got a hold on me right now. Word. But, but um, fuck with Yeet. <laughs> Yeet is cool, but I didn't really like dive into his shit Word. like that. Um, Are you into that kind of style of music, like that that rage type shit? Word, because our our audience is big. Cardi, rage. Yeet, Uzi, yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with Uzi. Like, yeah. I got his album and shit. Yeah. Um. But the rage, the rage shit is cool. Yeah. I don't feel me. I don't dislike Even it. Even Coyla Ray tried some rage. You see that? What? She dropped. Oh, I heard yeah. the rest up there in the chest. Coyla Ray on some rage shit. It's like some. Nah, I've heard her on shit. some rage shit before. Nah, we um, have, yeah. Do you enjoy more lyrical shit as opposed to the turn up shit? You know what I mean? Sometimes. Okay. It depends. 
I mean, I. It really depends. Like, I'm not like. The, like the. So what's your, like who's the your favorite? Super fast, fucking Lyrical. packing in sil- syllables and all yeah, that yeah. other shit. Like, I'm not like that, but, motherfucking, damn. Fuck with Utopia. I really can't. I didn't really get into Utopia yet. Okay, okay, you should. Who sure? the fuck am I fucking with like that, bro? Sure. You gotta bump that quick. It's, h- it's hard because, like, I'm really, like, every day I, <laughs> I really just get up and be trying to record and, yeah. like, get to what I'm to getting shit? to. So sometimes it's, like, for me, mm. that shit slid my mind. But, like, I like the, the hillbilly shit. Oh, with Baby Keem? Baby okay. Keem and, um, okay. and uh, I love Kendrick. how relaxed Kendrick. Kendrick is on that. Like, my he don't give a fuck. He just went in the booth and had fun with that. Bad Bunny. A word? Uh, bad you Bunny. I guess you can't right, Bad Bunny. My I guess fault. you can't complain. Yeah, yeah, bad man. Bunny, I would say, is. Did you hear that oh, K-pop shit? With him? With Travis? Nah, I didn't. Because I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't shit. get into Utopia. Good. That was an you interesting single. Song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly a Bad Bunny song. You should definitely hear it. Bad oh, okay, Bunny okay. has like 50%. You know, speaking of Bad Bunny, you know, you actually spit some Spanish bars. Mm-hmm. What is your nationality, my boy? I'm, Heritage, I'm, yeah, I'm Puerto Rican, 100. <laughs> Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican. Hey, Puerto Rican. Yeah. Is it con con or pegado or whatever? It's pegado. Yeah, it's hey, definitely pegado. Yeah, yeah. It's pegado. Come on, <laughs> so, yeah. I, I know a little bit. You know, I'm Puerto Rican too, but I'm a New Yorker, so I don't really know Spanish like that. Same. I'm the same way, but I'm I know it's pegado though. He's de- <laughs> yo, how he Dominican. He don't know Spanish. That shit crazy, man. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. what it is. We gonna get into these yeah. would you rather's, man. Yeah, Are you ready? Scattered. Are you ready? I right, bet. Let's so, go. Hi. Would you rather perform in front of fifty diehard fans singing word for word, or a hundred thousand fans but they're pretty quiet? God damn. I give it to the fifty. Word. Yeah. Okay. Cause, in, cause it's like a hundred thousand. That's a hundred thousand people that don't fuck with me like that. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like, damn. That's how many people I. Right. It right. might motivate if me, but... If you think about it, though, like... They Jaleel, will get put on. Right? He, uh, he did a backflip in front of, like, 100,000 people yeah. during ski set. And all those people were like, who the fuck was that? Yeah. So you never know. Like, That's your the thing about Jaleel, could, though. Like, he, nah, but Jaleel bring that energy, bro. He'll He's so in. different, <laughs> Swan Tom Bomb. Word. You can't not enjoy his performance. Like, yeah. You don't fuck with that. I don't know what okay, you fuck with. 50 people? Okay, nah, okay. Right. Yeah, what you got, Okay, what would you, you rather... Be a one-hit wonder, or have a steady career, but you never really get over that hump. Steady career, but what do you mean like over that hump? Like as in like a number one? Well, let's say like you're able to have a fan base. They stream your shit, and when you go on tour, yeah, you can you can have fifty to a hundred people, or you can have that one hit, like a mm-hmm. Lil Nas X hit. And but that's it. Uh, but never. So the steady like, never career continue. with the steady Basically fan base. Like a, yeah, give me the steady career. Yeah. Okay. Personally. Okay. Yeah. Like okay. you got a diehard fan base, but you never made a hit like that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like a Hobson or some shit. Like he yeah, got a crazy Yeah, give me the steady base, career. Word. You know, or like a Rob Banks. Like Rob he Banks. Never had a crazy. hit, but he got a fan base. Like a young like jock. He's gonna perform. No, like jock a young jock. <laughs> <laughs> with the perm. I bet. Would you rather? Bump your least favorite album for an entire week, like some shit that you hate, shit garbage. Or I don't have an or. What you think? What would be a good contrast to that? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm trying to come up. I'm trying to come up with a contrast to that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, would you rather bump your like a trash ass album for a week, or I couldn't figure it out. What a cut. What your a favorite? Cuck. What you think is a good contrast for that? You like got me fucked up. Here. Like you're forced to hear some shit. Or That's what? That's bad podcasting right That's there. bad podcasting? <laughs> I thought y'all could help me with that one. On the spot? On the Shit. spot, boy. Uh, bad album or Walk on Nails? I don't know. Walk on Nails. <laughs> 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 right, fuck it. I take, I take the bad album. I need my feet. <laughs> what an asshole. No, nah, I got one. I got a real one. <laughs> Would you rather lose the title at the main event in WrestleMania or be a mid-card of your whole career? But, you know, you got to... People fuck with you, you know, but you never hit that main event status. So if I lose the title, that means I had the title. You had the title, but for not that long, you know what I'm saying? And then you kind of just, but you main event at WrestleMania though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I take the main event because yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a wrestler, but 
if I was if I just me now just pop that main event, bro, yeah. that's lit. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. Lit. What do you think uh, of Logan Paul stepping through? He nice in though. The ring? Yeah, he's yeah, nice. Right, right. Nah, yeah, he could he could go. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I was thoroughly I impressed. Yeah. yeah, he got mad potential too yeah. with the heel. Yeah, he's good on the mic too. Like he mm-hmm. usually they kind of robotic. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> crazy. Um, <laughs> Bad Bunny's nice too in wrestling yeah. though. They, I remember, the, you know, the that little podcast thing with LeBron, that little barbershop shit he be doing? Yeah. Oh. I remember they asked Bad Bunny, like, yo, how'd you even get so good in the ring? And he was like, I train, I train really hard. Three yeah. more, no music. Three more, I train hard. Really hard. <laughs> it was mad funny the way he said it. it was hard. Like yeah. the way he tries to speak English. Yeah, he ain't God. training shit. He in the back right. eating bacalao and shit. Bacalao and shit. <laughs> All right. Would you rather be the only star out of Middletown, New York, or sacrifice your career for others to make it? What do you mean by like sacrifice? Like you take a step back, like and let and let go. other people shine, pretty much. Like, <sighs> like what, you, you gonna take it? You gonna take the Middletown, New York belt or give it to somebody else? I mean, let somebody else shine. I would say right now where I'm at in, at in my career, I'm going to say the first answer. Okay. But if I was asked that like 10 years from now, seven years from now, it would probably be the, other, the second answer. Okay. Mm, I respect that. Time shit. That's an honest answer. Where I'm at right now is like it's catch up. Right. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Literally. I do this shit every day, bro. I'm not going to yeah. just be like, okay, here's the keys. You ever, like, feel like when it's a day that you don't work or go into the studio, like, damn, like, now I got to work extra hard tomorrow. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I took a step back or uh-huh. something. You know what I'm saying? You ever feel like I have to every single day or else you know, somebody. Like that, I feel like sure. that all the time. As a creator, yeah. bro, a YouTuber. I feel that all the time. It's like Not somebody yet. else is grinding and you're here at the club or something. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I really don't go to the club like that. No, it was just an example. Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying in a club. Like, just but, anything. Just not working. Like. But, yeah, I definitely get that. Feel me? Like, Word. damn, I could be doing something right now. But that's why I'm doing something right now. <laughs> that's <laughs> why I'm you doing play, shit. You play video games? Like, what are you doing your downtime? Here and there. I mean, barely. But mm. on my downtime, I'll probably watch, like, there's this guy, his name on YouTube is Jet Central because I'm a Jet fan. Okay, so, okay. Really? I like, know I you're watch, excited. Hell yeah, bro. What? You fucking shitting me? <laughs> I got my, I That's got my Sauce Gardner jersey. You feel me? I, I ain't gonna hold you. Aaron uh, Rodgers looks, and when, <laughs> he looks funny in his uniform with all yeah, the pads yeah. on. He looks like an old ass man, like mad uh-huh. skinny. Remember that like, video he did where he was <laughs> at Blink? I like got a gym. Nah. And yeah, he was pretending for a day to work behind the desk at a gym. Oh, and some girl shit. was like, You look a lot like Aaron Rodgers. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I get that all the time. It's <laughs> mad funny, but he kept a straight face the whole time. I don't know how he did. But I got yeah. you. You ready? Would you rather take a Jaleel Swanton bomb or Brock Lesnar F5 your shit? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I would say Brock. Yeah? I would say Brock because. Uh, it's not going to hurt as much. Cause he, he's just yeah. dropping you, Jaleel doing that swan yeah. time. And I gotta wait. I gotta be like, <laughs> <laughs> where it's like Brock is like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, just, it's a shorter distance to the I floor. I would I say. It. You got any more, John? Uh, I do. <laughs> That's uh, cool. Bring back Eddie Guerrero or Chris Benoit. Oh, bring mm. him back. Mm. Bring him back. That's a good question. I mean, I would say Eddie Guerrero if it's if it's bring back. Yeah, okay. but I liked. Oh, I but see I what liked, you mean. I, but I, I like. Chris Benoit was wild. Yeah. yeah, but as it for me, during the time like I was a bigger Chris Benoit yeah. fan. <laughs> Yo, what? Come when on, that shit man. came out? <laughs> okay, okay. That shit was crazy. That's why my headbutt was wild. All right, uh, D Generation X. Okay. Or help me out. D Generation X or let me think. Let me think. Hold on. Or the Brothers of Destruction. Undertaker and Kane. Brothers of Destruction. I don't watch wrestling. You so. suck. <laughs> or the Brothers of Destruction. Yeah, yeah. Trying That's think. a hard one because I, I, 
Undertaker definitely one of my favorites. I grew up on D Generation X. So. Yeah. NWO I would say, or DX? W- <laughs> DX. I would say DX for both of them. Okay, okay. I, I got that. another one. Uh, Eddie Guerrero or Umaga? Eddie. RP Umaga, man. But no, but that was a good one, though. I'm not going to lie. Umaga. But Umaga yeah, was he my had, guy. He was, he was bro, nice, he was bro. a beast, bro. Great Kali or Big Show? <laughs> Big Show. Ray Kelly was garbage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he was so trash. He was trash. Yeah. You remember Hyden He's funny in movies, Who? though. You remember Hyden Reich? Nah. Hyden. You don't remember him? He had a whole beef on Undertaker for like five months. He used to wear a straight jacket. He had the red boxing gloves. You don't remember him, bro? It was like 05. 05, 06. Mm-hmm. I got Hyden Reich. Him. Yeah. He, they try to push the shit out of him. Rob bro. Van Dam or uh, Rey Mysterio. It's Rey Mysterio still He just fought yesterday I know RVD, RVD was that guy though Yeah RVD was that, that, that was my first favorite wrestler Word that, Yo mine yeah. too Facts Yeah RVD so was He fucked it up with that weed shit man Yeah he, he was the ECW was about champion to be the And the WWE what champion the what? what happened? He didn't give a fuck about how much weed he smoked And in WWE they didn't fuck with that Like you oh, can't wow. You get drug tested Whatever Yeah So they stripped him of both titles At his peak Like 06 yeah. bro he was the hottest. He just beat John Cena. Like, it was a big deal. Yeah, and them blunts was hitting. Now nah, they don't give a fuck. You smoke, bud. It's legal and all that. But, but I got one more. You ready? Would Copy. you rather take a stunner from Stone Cold or a rock bottom from The Rock? A stunner. Word. It's not going to hurt as much. I'll tell you that. Yeah. The rock bottom is flat on your back. A stunner. Me and Stone Cold got the same beat day. Uh, how about this? <laughs> if you was a wrestler, right? That's what song would you choose from you that would be your entrance theme? Entrance theme. Oh, my entrance theme. Yeah. What you God, coming out to? That Ozzy God Osbourne damn. Shit, right? <laughs> nah, he got, said of, my, of, mine, of, of mine. Of mine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Of mine. God damn. <laughs> well, we'll get the crowd going crazy. Ah, it's Jay Z from Middletown, New York, coming down the ring. Polly. <laughs> Super Saiyan 2. Okay. Yeah, because that's yeah, some like hype shit. Shut the fuck up, bitch ass. Start running down the ring. Just fucking <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. That's fire. Damn, man. All right. That's it. Let's see. You ran out? Nah, I don't got any more, bro. <clears throat> I got one. I actually have one. Would you rather pay? You have no choice. You have to pay $1,000 for a meet and greet. You have no choice. You yeah. have to do it. Would you rather pay $1,000 for Chris Brown meet and greet? Or Soldier Boy meet and greet. Uh, wow. <laughs> you know, I, I give it to CB. Yeah. Okay. I give it to CB. I respect it. You know, I mentioned that because Chris Brown on his latest tour actually charged a thousand dollars for his meet and greet. Or yeah. And there was still a long ass line, all girls. I mean, paid for the stack. females, the type of pictures he take with the females, right? He let them like he was like he, f- yeah, humping he, them, he, doing yeah, that yeah. shit. Uh, a stack yeah. though, Yo. just for That's like five seconds. Stack. Bro. But, but yeah, uh, before shit. we get into hot takes, I actually wanted to ask like, you have some success mm-hmm. with the music, right? Um, with success comes a lot of people knocking on your door. You know, whether it's people trying to be a part of the process or even labels trying to see what they can do. What has that experience been like, uh, if any, uh, especially with the labels? Because, like, being... Are you independent? Mm -hmm. So being independent, it it is harder. But as the years go by, it gets much easier. Uh, What's been your experience with that? Like, this labels approaching and shit? Um, I would say... That, that, uh, that type of shit, that's when, like, I would say the pressure comes. Because it's like you, you feel like you have to make a decision or you should make a decision. And then you look at other artists that have you made the comparing. decision. Yeah. And then you start being like, oh, fuck, you this is what they did. like that. I should have I yeah. said yes or whatever. Yeah. But then you hear certain things like, oh, certain people are not even making the money they should be making. But it's just like, oh, look at this person. They're making more money. But it's like, oh, but we don't know them, though. So it's like it's like a balance yeah. of like, because you want the bread, and then you want to be as lit as you can, like mm-hmm. as rich as you can and as lit as you can. But uh, shit, yeah, just mad f- fucking phone calls and shit. Right, and, right. And shit like that. And people trying to, like, suggest 
Anybody like trying to suggest like what you should do and stuff? Like what I should do? Um, I don't really tell a lot of people like the that working, side of shit. The business side. Yeah, it's really just me and uh my manager that I really like for me. Right, right. Handle that. So I don't really get those Okay. Okay. Mm. Um, when did you when did you start experiencing like what when was that moment where you were like, Oh shit, yeah, this shit blowing? You know what I'm saying? Was do you remember that day? Um yeah. Oh yeah, my shit viral. Fuck you talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I that was that, man. <laughs> this nigga airs up. <laughs> well, well, well. That's a trash Pause. question. No, what I said. Now nah, you could have said blowing. You said blowing. So that's oh, why if they fuck me up. Damn, I if I was Cameron, hold on. Like, yo, pause. But <laughs> Mace would have been like, pause. Yeah. But you know oh, what Mace. I mean, boy. <laughs> nah, <laughs> yeah, blowing. but. Nah. Yeah, definitely. Fucking. A few times, post. Um, yeah, yeah. Fucking. Mad DM I had, and shit. Yeah, I had this song called Pink Eye. Okay. <laughs> okay. Y'all okay. heard this or no? no I haven't heard. No. So Pink this Eye, is my no. first one that that like let me know. Oh shit, I could have something go crazy on TikTok. Okay. And it was just like some playful shit. Like I was just fucking around. Like I made like a little story type of song. Yeah. But it was like a little funny shit. Okay. And um fart on a bitch face, she had pink yeah, eye. Yeah, fart I farted on your pillow. <laughs> I was fine. trying to give you pink eye, but yeah. Mm-hmm. But um <laughs> fucking that shit started going crazy. And I'm just like, oh fuck. This shit can so, work. Yeah, yeah. And then Super Saiyan two let me know like, oh, I could go viral and rap to them. I could like, you know, take the auto tune off and just mm. bars and fucking Word. Did you know anything? What else did you want to do besides rap? Like, was there any oh, other? Oh, my I was first. Actually gonna my ask first. That, yeah. yeah, my first dream. I wanted to play wide receiver for the Jets. A little Wes Welker shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's okay. hard. But yeah. for me, did I you play growing. football? Like in yeah. middle school, in high shit? school. Yeah, middle school. High, no, not middle school. Um, I mean, I played pee wee, and then I played uh, like, varsity. Okay. Position, Junior like varsity Slot corner, receiver Slot That's what's, yeah. up. That's what's up Bro That's hard. I'm not gonna lie I you had the hands shit? bro Oh you had them hands Nah yeah I had the hands but Did you have the feet though Nah I did Nah yeah I the, was Nah yeah I was going crazy But Okay Fucking Rap took over Rap saying? took over cause Like I stopped growing So it was just like Yeah they want receivers being like 6'5 and up Yeah okay. Six, Like yeah, bro, I'm five two, bro. Safety clip. though, safety's you know. Safety, yeah, safety's cool, oh, but I'm back. still, I'm still like five two though. Like yeah, running, running back. backs is like five, five the shortest or something yeah. like that. Five six and up. Has ever so been an back. athlete that was a rapper? Like, a, like a, I know Master P yeah. and all that, but I'm saying like, okay. I guess Shaq, I guess Shaq. Yeah, what am I talking about? Yeah, you tweet. Oh, I was, that was Damian terrible. Lillard. That was terrible. Uh, Damian Lillard for sure. I wanted to ask. Nice. Cause uh, there's like a little comedy, um, in your bars and in your videos and stuff. I could see you doing movies, bro. Like mm. in sh- and like I don't know if you ever thought of doing short films or maybe even acting in music videos moving mm-hmm. forward. Cause that'll showcase and enable other people to see like, oh, he can act mm-hmm. and he's funny. Right. Like That's maybe that can open up a door can, to yeah. acting. Did, have you ever thought about that? Nah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I actually got hit up to be in something. No funny shit. And uh, I'm uh-huh. seeing what's up with it. They haven't really got back to me yet, but I'm still seeing what's up Yo, with that. Yo, definitely like, y'all go. Can, y'all might see me in some go shit. Go hard with if that. It, go if full it hits throttle. Netflix or if it hits whatever. Yeah. Right, right. I think you should really go hard with that and like try to find interesting ways to showcase like mm-hmm. your funny acting side because mm-hmm. i think you you got a future in that for sure right. appreciate that all right man let's, let's get, get into these hot takes, takes bro let's, go. Takes. let's see what the yeah, spicy segment takes they be is. talking some crazy shit, bro. Let's go. We, <laughs> we gonna see all right so boom first hot take j cole drops mid albums but has amazing features jid drops amazing albums but has mid features i would say cap yeah, for the J. Cole side. I don't think J.I.D. Yeah, drops mid-features. Huh. I, w- 
I mean, I don't really listen to JID's features. They keep saying that his last album was I know the he's best nice. shit of 2022. Yeah? Yeah. They oh, say so like I'm that's a, the best I'm going to tune in. I'm going yeah. to tune in. Sideline story. Copy. J. Cole dropping mid-albums, though? I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about that. And KOD was mid, though, I, th- I think. But I rocked said, with KOD though. They said uh, that his great, verses though. are mid too. But the reason why I think no, his verses are amazing. His features are amazing, but okay. mid album. But one thing about KOD that I always say, you know how the whole concept and the cover art is like kids on drugs, right? That's the name of it. But he just didn't stick to that theme. Yeah, so that's not my he favorite album. He didn't execute on that topic like that. Maybe like yeah. three songs. But mm-hmm. the whole album is called Kids Kids on Drugs, but you got songs that have nothing to do with that. So, it's, it, I don't know. That, to me, he failed on that. Thanks, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not my favorite. But, uh, yeah, my man said, Yachty is rapper of the year. He hasn't missed one time the whole year. Drops like once every other month, went into a whole new sound, and having some amazing live performances. Yachty. I can't, I do, I can't I do be mad at I do think he's it. at least runner-up for MVP of the year, Lil Yachty. Yeah, I can't sure. be mad at it. He has not dropped anything where, like, that's terrible. Like, he took the once. fucking walk to Poland. That's a fact. <laughs> that's what started it. That's what nah, really yeah. started the fucking the transition, bro. And then the, and then the album and then slide and then strike. Like, he has not missed. His, mm-hmm. Even his most recent song on the Cole Bennett shit, that shit is hard, bro. Mm. Like, Yeah, he's on a roll. Yeah, he, and we about to see him. Uh, I'm seeing him next week on in Philly, September 24th, man. He definitely passed uh, Trippy Red on the hierarchy. You know on popularity, in my opinion, yeah, this year. I think so. It's because I don't know. Because y- Yachty, Yachty always has, like, a steady, like, yeah, but he upgraded though. And but yeah, he yeah. upgraded though. This nah, year, yeah, yeah. I never thought Yachty would elevate. Not only nah, the he's music, sneaky, but though. the he's respect. He's really sneaky with it though. He's nah, he's lit. And Dax. I think what what helps Yachty too is his personality. Because mm. a lot of times, you know, yeah, you, there's one thing is the music, but with Yachty, it's not really anything you could dislike about. One thing Yachty. I didn't like though, what? with his, the whole new Yachty arc, mm. is that he is on drugs now. Like he does mm. lean. You know yeah, that like, shit ain't he, cool because like, so yeah. he was never on. He was Before never he was he was like a poster child because that's how he got the Target deal. I think Sprite, the label Nautica. did that to him, but I he think was he was like still the poster drug, child though. for drug free rapper. And then like just the last few years, he doing LSD and shit. Like respect, you know, by all means, do what you want. Yeah, it's just you know it's a shame really that as he got older, he just like got rid of like that message you know and he's addicted to the, uh, the vix the little shits for your nose what you know what, <laughs> what? you know what i'm talking about like let's say you got a vix stuff, bro that shit you just stick in your nose he just, but there's a he's just doing that all now. day i didn't know about what it you mean that's recently. new that's not what, new it gets you high bro nah, that's not new at likes, all i've always had that, that but yeah bro high, but, but he uh, just loves it he just likes doing that he did it in the uh-huh. whole interview with those two guys that are mad famous the nug boys and shit was it who is it nug boys you i think about so podcast? i think so yeah he was doing that the whole interview mm. he's like i love, I love this shit. I yeah like, yada you okay. mvp you get up the drugs <laughs> But uh, yeah, my man said people actually still fuck with Chance the Rapper. I went to his show at the Barclays and it was packed. I'm a big fan, but I was honestly surprised to see so many people. I saw that take and the he reason sold it out was Barclays. packed because okay. it's for a mixtape that's classic. From that's ten why. years ago, that's yeah, it's his best project. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like if uh, well, like well, Fifty Cent don't count because he just went on tour for his. But to still do that years later, it no, really for is. sure, that should really show you how. I guess that project was from. That album was impactful, bro. I wanted to go so bad. Yeah, I wish I. I didn't didn't really. I don't pay for shows. I wish I cared. I never listened to one song off that project. Mm -hmm. Still to this day, not that I'm saying it's bad. I just never grew up on it. Acid Rain, I think it's called. That's like one of my favorite songs of all time. I wish I was there. It's just I refuse to pay for shows, bro. Mm. I'm not paying. (laughs) I just don't. I don't know. Never gravitated to me. I was bumping Cheap Keith. My man said, album of the year for me is probably Don Tolliver's or Gunna's. I feel like opinion, opinionated questions aren't really hot takes. Cause like, yeah, I didn't really. It's, that's your opinion, you know? It's like, that's not really yeah. a hot take. You get what I I'm didn't saying? really listen to those. Like, how could you say that's a hot take if that's your opinion, really? Like, um, it's, it's not I would very, say between those two is definitely Don, but the album of the year, or is it album or artist? Album. Albums of the year for him is Don Tolliver's or Gunna's. Huh? Albums. I would say Let's Start Here by Yachty. That's still 
Have mm. you heard that yet? Lil Yachty's latest project. It's pretty good, man. If you fuck with Ozzy Osbourne, you fuck with that. It's like yeah. some old school shit. Yeah. It's I very, it's very psychedelic, and it's not like rapping at all. I wouldn't really call it's it a rap, rap album. album at all, yeah. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. It's on some weird what? shit to me. <laughs> I haven't. I who who dropped this year? Who uh, dropped? Who dropped that? Everybody. Album this year? Uh, almost Uzi, every pink, Travis, pink tape, Uzi, Uzi, Travis. Fucking uh, Jesus. I'll be blanking out. Quavo Slim just Jesus. dropped. Trippy Red dropped. <laughs> Slim Jesus. Slim Jesus. Gunna. Lil Fish. Dirk. <laughs> fucking a lot of people dropped. Fucking. Uh, nah, yeah. I would say the only album I really tuned into this year was the Uzi one so far. Pink Tape. Okay, okay. I respect it. Yeah. My man said Chief Keef is better than J. Cole. <laughs> now, um, you can't compare people that aren't. Yeah lyrical to people who not I, you could never do that in my opinion mm -hmm. it's he's right it's just nah, different <laughs> it's just different bro you nah, can't keep lit though that's like saying yeet could Why do not? Yeet. i'll go with cole like j cole can't do what yeet does and yeet can't do what j cole does like you just this can't. is the mid take what we just got but yeah chief keith he did like start a bunch of shit he started the running gun music videos mm -hmm. he started the he just started chilling a lot in of your shit, house, no budget for yes. the video. He like, started a lot of shit. He makes his own beats, all this stuff, but that doesn't mean better. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know I'm not saying, saying that. But. No, no, I'm just saying in general, like just because you innovate something or do right. this, do that, doesn't mean you're better than that person. Facts. So, yeah. So, Obviously, so, Chief, to me, I'm bumping Chief Keep more. I'm just trying to be objective here. <laughs> Chief Keep definitely better, but I don't you know what I'm saying. <laughs> My man said, street rap needs more influences instead of being a circle jerk of the same sound. What the mm. fuck am I on about? <laughs> what the fuck? He said, what am I talking about? He wrote, what am I talking about? <laughs> a circle jerk? I don't know. Street that rap guy, needs more influences? Like I don't really like street rap like that, like the gra gra. I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I've always said What do you that. think of Drill? Send you easy. I think it's. I like certain. I like certain drill, but it does get to a point where it's like, all right, certain, certain songs got like the same ad libs as other people yeah. and shit like that. There's no diversity in it. They all sound yeah. the same to me. But, they all uh, sound like demons on that shit. I think. I think it, it's gonna come to a point where somebody uh switches it up, and it's gonna be fresh. Hopefully it's like Didi's I mean, Osama that switches it up and shit. Mm -hmm. Cause I, with all due respect, I think he's literally only popping because he looks like K. Flock. I've heard. And he kind of like seen sounds people like say it. that. That's literally like with all due respect, he would not get the look that he's he got if he didn't look exactly like K. Flock. I mean, <laughs> Let's hey, be honest. He got it. He had to put some type of work in though. No, for sure, for sure. That shit That's trash. That's All that shit trash, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Fiend is Cardi's best feature of all time. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not serious, right? So it's on Utopia. It's Travis Scott and Cardi. Okay. Yeah, Cardi has like a deep voice. And it's like, when you hear it, you're like, whoa, what is this Cardi? I'm going to go fuck with these hoes. <laughs> <laughs> he not on that in this shit. So when I first heard it, I thought it was, uh, it was a group game. called Homicide Gang. I thought it was them. I thought it was Future when I heard that. Hey, oh. Like yeah. I thought that was Future at first, but I was like, when I found out it was Cardi, I was like, what the fuck? As he really as I heard that. Him. Yeah, the I what? Was Cardi. But oh, yeah. what? Best yeah. feature of all time? Are you kidding me? Yeah, he's tweaking and geeking. Nah, he's you know what feature is better than that? You know the song 100 Racks? I blew up on, I blew 100 Racks. Then, then, oh, how the fuck that shit go? That shit trash. These, nah, hell nah. <laughs> Sound like he's about left. to say these nuts, bro. <laughs> said hold these. on, bro. You know this song, bro. Hold on, you give me trash. trash. No, it's not. What? You don't know this song? Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Kick his shit. No, we not friends. That's it. That shit was better than fucking off oh, than Fiend. What are you talking about? Even though Fiend shit is hard though. You know what? <laughs> what fucked me up? Uh, what? Fucking he had a feature with the weekend. Oh yeah, money on top of me. But money he, on top of. They he, played that at the gym uh, today. Look, look. But he rapped for like two seconds. Yeah, know, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that part is like hard. It's just too short. Yo, the Cardi yeah. fans. He's like, yeah, I'm out of here. Shit. I I'm know. like, yo, y'all need to chill. Yeah, the Cardi fans to they he, he, like he can't do no wrong, bro. At all. Speaking of Cardi, I don't know if you've seen. He was supposed to go on tour, 
like towards the end, like literally like this week, and they postponed everything to 2024. He was supposed to do MSG October 11th. That shit wasn't selling. MSG. Yeah, oh, only man. GA sold out. All the seats were still available. So, and it's still gonna be MSG, by the way. I thought they were gonna change the venues. How's it gonna? What's the difference if you just put if you put it January? He has to drop, right? That means he has to drop our project. Damn, MSG. MSG it's is good. MSG. Like, that's, that's why when dream, I saw though. Cardi was that's doing the dream, that, though. I was like, oh shit, Cardi MSG. But like, what do you think, John? You think it's because the album's coming out? Because like, what makes a difference in ticket sales from here to January if he doesn't drop? It's the music. Uh, he he wants to drop. I know. But I'm saying you think it's because he's gonna drop. Yeah. It has to be right. Like. I don't think it was because anything was being canceled or anything like because of low ticket sales. I just think he has the power to change the dates mm. and like, you know, he's trying to set up a rollout. Interesting. And by the way, I was just thinking in my head. I kind of tuned y'all out. Well, you know who needs to stop making music? Who? French Montana, bro. Damn. He just dropped a new he's song with Sway Lee. Now. Did crazy. you see that? I, nah, I haven't heard his. He dropped a. The, they try to recreate Unforgettable. They try to make a big, another big hit. That shit fire on mute. <sighs> the thing is with French though, it gets me tight. I ain't gonna lie, French was hard, bro. From like of 2010 course. to I ain't like 2015. Back in cheese days. Yes, fucking. bro. If I die is a fire oh, ass song. Oh, All that hey. shit. Come but on. once it went. Like after the Coke Boys and all that shit was all fire, but like 2015 and beyond, I don't know, shit, Dookie. So he was hard. Though. I really yeah. used to fuck with him, OD. Yeah. But he's just he's one of those rapper groupies that everybody's cool with. That's why he's always getting all these features and shit. Hey, he's cool with everybody. Tummy tucks and shit. I don't fuck with he's that. probably the biggest rapper groupie what, in in no, hip hop. What, what's that though? He's cool with everybody. Like uh, he's only getting all these features and placements because he's uh, just cool with everybody. But uh, he's not even who really gives a fuck about his music. It's kind of like Rich the Kid. Like, how does he get all these features? I can't believe Rich the Kid has a mixtape <laughs> like with a Lil Kendrick Wayne. Feature. Bro, Fucking. out of all rappers, Lil Wayne has an album with Rich the Kid. <laughs> how? How do you do that? He got, like, I don't understand. There's a song on SoundCloud bag, with Rich the Kid and The Weeknd. Like, <laughs> he has a song with The Weeknd? <laughs> it's like, how does he do it? I don't know I don't, how, how he fucking does it. Go ahead. But hold on, let's see. Let me refresh this hoe. I know he had a song with the week. I know that's yeah. crazy. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, Joe Cinco. I think we have like one more. Let's see. That was one of my my football numbers. Oh, where? On your channel, Joe Cinco. I didn't. Said. I didn't choose it, but. But it, it chose you. The <laughs> It chose it, you. I guess the ch- coach fucking chose it. He tried to gas me up. Oh, Joe Cinco. I'm looking at the number. I'm like, bro, I don't want this fucking number, but I'm going to wear it this year. Fuck it. <laughs> we got one last one. My man said, Doja Cat is the best mainstream female rapper right now. The best one? Hell no. She's Hell a uh, rapper, though? First of all. I mean, yeah. she raps, but like, she, I is she counted as. Nah, to me, no. Rapper? But I, always I would say she's the she's best. More like an artist. I think she's the best uh, right now. Um, she is lit, though. She could sing, she could rap, she's on the charts. Uh, she's on the charts because they forced that shit, bro. I don't think so. Yes, they did. I think, I think she's dope. Oh, my God. She's you just can't weird tell as me fuck. it was not forced, bro. She was the first. Let me show you this post. This is the most. Fabricated shit I've ever seen, bro. And nobody you know that even song, heard this the song. Red, what was that song that you was talking about that they forced it on us? Yeah, red they song. forced it. Some devil shit. That's why it was bro, forced. Bro, I've seen that shit all over YouTube Shorts. So when you, because it's you forced, can say it's force fed, but like, I see it every day on YouTube Shorts. Doja Cat's because you probably searched Doja Cat or something. That's why the algorithm. Nah, I don't have one. Do- I ain't searched Best no. mainstream. Yeah, yes, <laughs> bro. I don't have anything Doja Cat, and all I watch is so who, shit. so who, who if not Doja, Doja Cat, Cat's become the first solo if female not Doja rap Cat, song then who? in history. If not Doja, then who though? That's Cat, cause they I don't hear this shit anywhere. That's Cat. If not bro. Doja, then who though? I don't listen to female rap. That shit's trash. I don't listen to any of that. But just female <laughs> artists. I don't listen to female artists, boy. That shit is just not he for really me. He really doesn't. So he it's don't gotta be Doja. Like, Coyla Ray's better than Doja Cat. I think she's way better. Makes better music to me. Nah, I think uh, nah, I think I don't cat. fuck with this devil shit. That's why I'm so passionate. That. This nah, shit blows under- mine. That nah, shit I is trash. Nah, understand but Doja Cat really could make music though. I'm sure she makes cool songs, but yo, I don't sexy red, to- sexy shit. red. That's my shit. Ski- I was watching the Hard Knock shit yeah. for the Jets. 
and they were playing that shit in oh, the practice. Word. That shit That's turned right. me the fuck up. I was they dumb hype. Play that sexy red. Yeah. yeah. So I was just like, turn, yo, turn that up, turn that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's how the you only know organic, crazy this shit. the only organic female shit was the Ice Spice shit. You can't tell me that the Doja Cat number one song was organic because it definitely wasn't. I'm what, still on that because it's cat. What, what song went number one for? It's called uh, "Paint the City Red" or some shit. No, no, for Ice Spice. I'm talking about like how Munch and all those other songs oh, that shit blew up organic? organically. Yes, this Doja Cat shit. That shit, no, no casual fans bumping that. There's no wave on that unless you a Doja Cat fan. And I get mad hate comments, too, of Doja Cat dick suckers. And their icon is Doja Cat. I mean, Doja like, what Cat are you talking about? Lit, it, it. I'm sure she is lit. Nobody's saying she's she not lit. lit. But you that a hater. Song, nah, I'm not, I mean, nah, nah. I'm, I'm not saying I agree I'm with not the a devil hater. shit, I just, but I'm saying I, Doja Cat I, is I call it how I to, see it, to, though, to, is what I'm say trying to say. Like, and I think it's bullshit. Like, I can't believe that song this. is the number one song solo female artist in Spotify history. Mm -hmm. That's Cat. There's no way. I'm surprised Munch wasn't. She's the most streamed. No, that song is the first solo female artist to go number one in Spotify history. That's not fabricated. That's industry shit. And it's a devil ass song. Mm. That's all I'm saying, bro. That shit is super forced. That's all I'm saying. Whoa. Well, what we got Jay Easy in the building. Yeah. There's nothing I can do, but just you know. Nah, so let's end it off this way, man. What you got planned for the next? That's big year. Facts. What you got for us, man? And what you want to accomplish in the next five, man? Like, what's what's the game plan for Jay Easy, man? Well, I got a project coming with a uh, Doja Cat. Nah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> right after Word. that, I'm defender. Yeah, I got a project. <laughs> and then, nah. Any publicity is good publicity. Nah, but fucking um, in the next year, what? Say the question again. My bad. Uh, what do you? What's your plans for like the next year, and like how you want to go about the, your career and stuff like? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I stuff mean, like that. I'm looking to take it to the next level. I'm what you chefing shit. up? I mean, I got. A bunch of songs for me. Mm. That's in the tuck, huh? Yeah, in the tuck. That's gonna come out. Um, shit, you might see me. You gonna see me in more places for me working with, working with people and fucking. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, dropping, I mean. just dropping and pushing, pushing the J E Z agenda forward. Word. All of this. Do you practice like performing in your room type shit? Uh, <laughs> like to, you know, sometimes, like with a, sometimes with a lint rolling, just wild. Sometimes cable sometimes. remote. <laughs> yeah, shit, I be doing it. I'm not even a rapper. I pretend I'm whatever song I listen to. I pretend I'm them on stage. I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. So I can only imagine if you're an actual rapper. You know, what I'm saying like thinking about the crowd or, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm just assuming. I don't know if you do that, but shit, I would. Shit. I'll d dive into the bed thinking I'm that's the crowd or some shit. Nah, you know I wouldn't. Saying? I don't do all that, <laughs> but like I I write my lyrics. Yeah, make yeah. sure I remember the shit. Where, how do you go by like holding on to a song though? I've always wondered like, like yo, you fuck with that song so hard, but you wanna wait. Like that doesn't like. I fucking hate you that. Hate shit, that, bro. Shit? Cause like I'm, only imagine, I'm yeah. used to. You just wanna putting drop, it out, right? but now showing you everybody be more strategic everything. With it. Yeah, mm. it's it's you gotta roll out every single song. It's yeah. so annoying. There's like a whole plan behind everything. Mm -hmm. So you think just dropping it would would be a bad thing? Like if you just dropped it. Type shit. Oh fuck it. Here, here's three Some, songs. Sometimes it depends. Yeah. But uh, you should come up with a plan for for each yeah. song just to, mm -hmm. so when it does go. Yeah. You give it you the best opportunity everything. to succeed. Yeah, you feel sure. like you have to make a music video for every song you make? Nah, not every song. Okay. Interesting. How do you go by choosing which one needs a to music do? video then? Yeah. Uh. Like, depending on how like many views it gets and whatnot, or yeah, what you like. Yeah. The you know what I'm saying? It's a, I say it's both. Mm. It's both. Interesting. But mostly, if it is getting those views, I clearly I'm going to make a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly. That's but yo, if I'm, it's I'm, not hitting. I'm yeah. on your YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, we got to get more music videos on here, man. Yeah. I feel like. But if you look. And you got. Home, every day you do a short, right? Playlist. Playlist. I'm pretty sure somewhere it shows where I drop videos at. Yep, see, Jay Z music videos. Uh, mm. 
got my old shit in there too. Oh, like the playlist, <laughs> right? Fire. But yeah, yeah, cause um, I dropped my music on uh, shout out Big Bang Vote TV. That's why I dropped most of my music videos at the time. How'd but you now, meet, how'd you meet him? He's my manager. Oh, word, word. My how'd manager you, you shoots imagine? videos. How'd you meet him? Engineers. Though? He uh, he, he has a local him. studio, so oh, I got brought. Hard. I got referred to his studio. Word. Word. How that's long far, you been cool with him? How long you know him for? Shit, probably like Four almost minutes? seven years now. Because it's about to be 2024. And I started really getting into the studio like Damn. 2017. So he 2018. knew you for a minute then. Okay. So yeah. yeah. Basically grew up together. Man, yo, Jay, I can't wait to see more success. For real, I want to see you like acting too. Mm-hmm. Like getting in your acting bag. That would be dope to see because you're mm-hmm. funny as hell. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely want to just see you grow more, man. I, I want to see a lot more coming out of you, and uh, you know, I, yeah, I the potential's pay, crazy, bro. It's gonna go well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. man. Appreciate that, bro. You know what I'm yeah, bro. Both of y'all. And Anything is, uh, last you want to say to the people? Yeah, let them know, man. Shit. And lastly, <laughs> listen, you gonna see me wherever the fuck you go. Listen, it's gonna be one month out of that fucking year or three months out of that fucking year but i'm gonna have my time and y'all gonna see me again again and a motherfucking again mm. srg shit is j no z easy no fucking e and he we here with the Come guys on, man middletown Let's shit go, man. <laughs> right. you, man. yes sir Already know. Boricua shit too, yeah. Yeah. Right. Big out. <laughs>